Uh, Lanry says, Lanry, I think I got it right this time, man. <laughs> uh, Lanry, right? I think so. Anyways, if I need to do a keyword for divorce lawyers, if I need to do keywords or key, okay, for divorce lawyers, do I need to submit for keyword research for lawyers or divorce lawyers? Okay, so your your eyes, if you're going to order a keyword research package, is a is a is a, I'm assuming that's what you're asking. If you're going to order a keyword search package from MGYB uh, for divorce lawyers, do I submit for keyword research for lawyers or for divorce lawyers? Well, if you're going specifically after divorce lawyers, then if you were to just submit lawyers as your keyword, then it's going to pull back divorce lawyers and personal injury attorneys and family law and you know criminal attorneys, and it's going to pull all that back, which would be not relevant to your project, right? So if you're project is all about divorce lawyers, then I would use divorce lawyers or attorneys, you know, they're kind of interchangeable uh, as your keyword. And then they'll start pulling it from there and extracting all of the keyword, you know, subsets or theme sub themes from divorce lawyers and um, kind of compiling and optimizing the keyword file for you that way. If it's the, um, you know, the top, whatever the top level keyword pa package is. So that's, that's what I would suggest. Because remember, if you're going with the broader term, you're going to get broader results too, which aren't going to be relevant to your product, your project, excuse me. So I would go with divorce lawyers. Okay. Don't include any local modifiers though. Um, we don't need that for the deep keyword research. If I submit for deep keyword research for lawyers, will I, be, will I be able to select various areas of law to build my site or will I have to build a law site that covers various, will I be able to select various areas of law to build my site or will I have to build a law site that covers various areas of law? Okay. Um, um, all right. I, I, will I be able to select various areas of law to build my site? Yeah, I mean, like I said, if you go with the lawyers, like for D-Word, if you just went with lawyers, right, which is very broad, then it's going to return everything. And it, there will be suggested silos and all that, which then, you know, you can determine whether you want to use them or not. It's up to your pro, you know, what what your project is about. Because you, if you, again, if you go with lawyers, there's going to be all kinds, environmental law, immigration lawyers, there's going to be all kinds of stuff in there that is probably not going to be relevant to your, I mean, again, I don't know what you, you mentioned in the previous question, divorce lawyers. So I'm assuming that you want to be optimized more for that, more specialized, right? So I would go with just divorce lawyers. But again, if you want to do a more general type of law uh, website that covers multiple subcategories for attorneys or lawyers, then you want to go with the broader term. Does that make sense? And then you can just select which you know, silos or suggested silos that you want to use. And again, they're suggested. You still have to go through and, um, you know, stack the content or the keywords uh, the way that you want them to be. We do our best to give you, you know, things in keyword groups or keyword themes, which would be suggested silos essentially, but it's still up to you to go through and actually, you know, choose which ones of those keywords are fully relevant to your project and to select which ones you're going to um, create content for or optimize content for is that if that makes sense okay all right moving on hopefully that answered that question it was a little bit of a um difficult question i guess 